Imagine a metropolis, a city that never sleeps, suddenly starved of its lifeblood, the constant flow of goods and services. This is the story of the New York City truckers' boycott. New York City, the Big Apple. A bustling metropolis that relies heavily on the tireless efforts of truckers who ensure that goods and services are delivered around the clock. From the restaurants in Little Italy serving up hot slices of pizza, to the high-end fashion boutiques lining Fifth Avenue, to the mom-and-pop grocery stores in Queens, every corner of this city depends on truckers. What would happen if this crucial supply chain were to suddenly halt? Picture the city's bustling streets, now devoid of the usual hum of delivery trucks. Picture the shelves of your favorite stores, no longer restocked with fresh goods. Picture the city that never sleeps, suddenly lulled into an uneasy stillness. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. It's what happened when truckers decided to boycott deliveries to New York City. And the reason? A hefty fine of $355 million imposed on one of the city's most prominent figures, Donald Trump. Now, you might wonder, what does a fine on Trump have to do with New York City's truckers? It's a fair question. And the answer lies in the solidarity of the truckers, their sense of unity, and their willingness to stand up against what they perceived as an unjust action. The truckers saw the fine as an attack on their industry, a threat that could potentially affect their livelihoods. They decided to take a stand to make their voices heard, and in doing so, they brought the city that never sleeps to a standstill. As the city that prides itself on never sleeping suddenly found its lifeblood cut off, the question on everyone's lips was, how did we get here? A fine, not an ordinary one, but a staggering $355 million fine slapped on Donald Trump. Yes, you heard that right. This wasn't just a dent in Trump's wallet. It was a seismic shock that sent ripples far beyond the confines of his gold-plated penthouse. Let's backtrack a little to understand why this fine was imposed. Trump, the business tycoon turned political figure, has been known for his controversial dealings. However, this time, he seemed to have crossed a line that the authorities couldn't ignore. The exact reasons behind the fine are shrouded in layers of legal jargon and court orders. But at its core, it was all about alleged financial misconduct and misrepresentation of assets. Now you might ask, what does this have to do with truckers? Well, it's a fair question. The fine didn't directly impact the trucking community, but it was the straw that broke the camel's back, the trigger that sparked a movement. Truckers, the lifeblood of America's supply chain, had been weathering a storm of issues for a while, from low wages and long hours to lack of respect and recognition. They had their fair share of grievances. And in Trump, they saw a figure who, despite his flaws, stood for their cause as a champion of the common man. When the news of the fine broke, it resonated with the truckers. They saw it not just as an attack on Trump, but as an attack on their values and beliefs. It was a battle cry that rallied truckers from across the country. It was a call to arms, a call to stand up against what they perceived as an injustice. And so they decided to make a statement, a loud and clear one. They chose to boycott deliveries to New York City, the heart of the financial world, the city that dared to find their champion. In an unprecedented show of solidarity, truckers across the country banded together deciding to hit the city where it hurts, its supply chain. The gears of the boycott were set in motion and the effects were almost instantaneous. New York City, the city that never sleeps, was suddenly jolted awake by a harsh reality the vital lifeline of goods and supplies brought in by the tireless truckers had come to a grinding halt. The bustling city, known for its vibrancy and resilience, was faced with an unanticipated challenge. Store shelves started to thin out, restaurants struggled to source fresh produce, construction sites were on hold due to lack of materials, and gas stations ran low on fuel. The city, so accustomed to its rapid pace, seemed to be slowing down. The public reaction was a mix of surprise, concern, and frustration. Many were taken aback by the swift impact of the boycott, underlining just how crucial the role of truckers is in keeping the city running. 
Others were worried about the potential for shortages and the impact on their daily lives. Yet, there was also a sense of frustration, a feeling that the city was being held hostage to a dispute they had no part in. The government, on the other hand, was caught between a rock and a hard place. On one hand, they had to address the grievances of the truckers, who felt wronged and were demanding justice. On the other, they had to ensure the smooth functioning of the city and the well-being of its residents. City officials scrambled to find alternative ways to bring in supplies, but the task proved to be Herculean. The truckers' boycott had not just disrupted the supply chain, it had exposed the city's dependence on these unsung heroes of the road. As the city grappled with the sudden shortage, the truckers stood firm, their message clear. Injustice will not be tolerated. They were not just fighting for their own rights, they were making a stand for all who felt unheard and overlooked, and in doing so, they were forcing the city and the nation to confront some uncomfortable truths. The effects of the boycott were far-reaching, rippling out to touch every aspect of life in New York City. An invisible thread connects every element of a city's ecosystem, and when one thread is pulled, the entire fabric can start to unravel. Let's start with the obvious one, retail. With trucks no longer bringing in goods, shelves started to run bare. This impacted not only the big name stores, but also the mom and pop shops that are the lifeblood of many neighborhoods. No deliveries meant no products to sell, and no products to sell meant no income. The economic impact was immediate and devastating. Then there's the food service industry. New York City, known for its gastronomical delights, felt the pinch. Restaurants, cafes, and bakeries rely heavily on regular deliveries for fresh produce and other ingredients. The boycott meant that these establishments were unable to serve up the dishes that make the city a food lover's paradise. But the effects didn't stop at commerce. They seeped into sectors as vital as healthcare and education. Hospitals and clinics dependent on regular deliveries of medical supplies faced shortages. Schools, too, experienced disruptions in their food programs, affecting the health and well-being of thousands of children. And as the boycott continued, the ripple effects started to permeate even deeper into the city's fabric. The lack of goods led to a rise in prices, affecting the cost of living. The city's vibrant cultural scene, fueled by events and exhibitions, started to lose its shine as materials and resources became scarce. This was not just a boycott, it was a wake-up call. A reminder of how interconnected we are and how much we rely on those who deliver goods to our doorsteps every day. As the ripple effects of the boycott continued to spread, the city found itself in a situation it had never envisaged. In the end, it was not just a story about a boycott, but a tale of solidarity, resilience, and the power of the collective. The New York City Truckers Boycott of 2024 was a movement that echoed far beyond the city's towering skyscrapers and bustling streets. When the dust finally settled and the roar of engines returned to the city's delivery docks, the impact of the boycott was clear. New York City was reminded of its dependency on the tireless efforts of truckers and the vital role they play in keeping the city alive and vibrant. But the aftermath was not just about the city, it was about the truckers too. The boycott had been a demonstration of their strength and unity. They had stood together, defying the odds, and their message was heard loud and clear. It's worth noting that the effects of the boycott rippled across the nation. Other cities took note, realizing the potential power of their own trucking communities. The event sparked discussions, debates, and even legislative changes, redefining the relationship between cities and their trucking industries. The lessons learned were plentiful. The city learned the hard way about the dangers of overlooking the needs of essential workers. The truckers discovered the power of their collective voice. And the nation as a whole was reminded of the importance of unity and solidarity in times of adversity. The boycott had many layers. It was a protest, a standoff, and a wake-up call, but above all, it was a showcase of the indomitable spirit of the trucking community. It was about standing together, standing strong, and standing up for what's right. And so, as the sun set on the city and the hum of engines filled the air once again, the city was forever changed. The echoes of the boycott continued to reverberate, its lessons imprinted on the city's heart. The NYC Truckers Boycott of 2024 will forever be remembered as a testament to the power of unity 
in the face of adversity.